Hi, it's Phil from Delphi. In today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to calibrate the front camera on your Tesla vehicle. Now this procedure applies whether it's a Model 3, Y, S or X. Now Tesla have different categories of cameras and radar systems. They call these DAS systems, D-A-S, Driver Assistant Systems. Now there's lots of different versions, but essentially we can group them into three categories. DAS 1, DAS 2 to DAS 3, and DAS 4. Easy to recognize the differences. DAS 1 only has a single camera in the front windscreen. The middle ones, DAS 2, 2.5, and 3, have three cameras in the windscreen, and DAS 4 has two cameras in that front windscreen. The procedure we're gonna to do today refers to DAS 2, 2.5, 3, and 4. It does not include DAS 1.0. So essentially what we're gonna do is the camera calibration is done in two sections. The first section is a pitch verification. We're gonna make sure the angle of the camera in the windscreen is pitched at the right angle. Once that check is complete, then we can do a dynamic calibration on the road. So before we start, let's look up the technical instructions and we're gonna set the ADAS equipment up. We access the technical note from Delphi's technical data platform. And in this note, it takes us through the different steps. We're gonna be using the Delphi ADAS calibration equipment for this task. And as you can see, we're gonna first check the pitch and then carry out the dynamic calibration. It gives us a list of the equipment. So we're gonna be using the CRC 150 rig and we're gonna be using target board TFC-5. We're gonna place the, the board in front of the vehicle and we're gonna place the middle section of the board here as close to the front bumper as possible. We're going to set the target height. This is a Tesla Model Y, so we're going to be setting it to 155 centimeters in the Delphi ADAS equipment. And then we're going to use the center touchscreen on the vehicle to initiate the camera's pitch verification. So we need to grab TFCC5, set it 155 centimeters from the ground. Let's do that first. So we've put the ADAS kit with the TFC5 um, board on. We have to set the rig as close to the front bumper as possible. With the board on, we're now gonna set the height of the board um, as per the instruction notes at 155 centimeters. So I'll first lower the ruler down till it touches the floor. Then I make my adjustment all the way to 155 centimeters. So that's the ADAS equipment set up correctly just making sure as well that it's fairly parallel to the vehicle. But unlike other vehicles where having it parallel to the rear toe is extremely important, on this vehicle it's not because we're only doing a pitch verification. Um, none of the other angles come into play. So let's head into the vehicle, onto the touch screen, and let's check the pitch. Right, the CRC150 ADAS equipment is set up. As you can see here, we now need to follow the procedure through. We're gonna enter service mode, and I'll show you how to do that on the screen in a moment. We're gonna go all the way through into the driver assistance system, and essentially what we're looking for is the line on the screen is in line with the top of the first box on the left-hand side. On the screen, there is also then a tolerance, which you'll see in a moment. If it's within that tolerance, we're good. If it's outside of that tolerance, then first we would need to, as you come through, see here, on the technical note, it tells you here to reset the DAS system, clear any current calibrations, make your adjustments, and then continue the calibration. So let's have a little look now. We'll go into service mode and check that. So I've pressed the car button to bring this menu up. We go into software, then two seconds on the vehicle display. You'll see a little pulse on screen. All Teslas have the same access code, service, Once we're in service mode, we can go to driver assistance systems and we can go to cameras. So we can see the current values that are stored in. We go to camera preview, it will load up and then you'll see the display as we spoke before, 
and you'll see the camera where it looks on the board. Now on this car, this is a DAS 3.0. So this has three cameras at the front, main, wide, and narrow. You can see on the main camera, the blue line should ideally be at the top of the square, but it's within the two green lines, so it is within tolerance. We do the same check on the wide camera. Again, looks good. And then finally we go onto the narrow camera and we can see that's good again. So you, you can even see the slight variation between the cameras, which are in the single frame mount. Now to make the adjustment, it's quite simple. We clear the calibrations first. So if we go back off here, we reset the DAS system, we clear the camera calibration and then make the adjustment. There is a small adjustment screw behind the mirror. Drop the mirror off, grab the adjustment screw and adjust it until it comes within tolerance. And once you've done that, everything back together, back into the menu, we're gonna to go to service, scroll down, and then you'll see an option to go to camera calibration. Now this is done whilst driving. There's a simple progress bar. Having done quite a few of these, slow roads are not gonna work particularly well. You need to bring the vehicle speed up, ideally to around 30 to 50 miles per hour. Um, all the way up even to 60, which is 100 kilometers an hour, the calibration will happen much quicker. The good thing is there's a really nice display on here telling you the progress of the camera calibration. Tesla say it can take up to 100 miles or 160 kilometers to perform this calibration. Um, and this can either be done by you as a technician or it can be handed back to the customer to, to finish that calibration. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos, then why not follow us on social media or visit the Masters of Motion online hub. And for more expert-led courses, visit us online at the Delphi Academy. Thanks for watching.